All right, here we are, acids and bases. We've started off already with a little bit of the properties, some of the indicators, a couple of reactions of acids. Uh, you can see on this sheet we've got some information here in case you missed some, some videos in case you missed my demonstrations in class, uh, and lots of information here about the different colors and that sort of stuff there. So check those out if you missed them. Um, but today, right now, we want to focus on the different definitions of acids and bases. There are three definitions. So on your paper for your notes, you probably want three circles, something like this. They're nested. We're going to start with the most specific right in here. That's the Arrhenius definition. This is what you've probably heard of before, where acids contain hydrogen. They make hydrogen or hydronium ions in water. Really a hydronium is what this is called, H3O positive. Uh, that is where a hydrogen ion has stuck to a water molecule. Okay, so I could write that word out for you here. That would be a good idea. This is hydronium. It is on your um, common ions list on your periodic table. Okay, bases have OH. This is our Drano, sodium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide is another strong uh, base. It's an Arrhenius base, has hydroxide in it. Any other metal with hydroxide ions is going to fit that too. Key thing you need to know about Arrhenius though is when we say neutralization, neutralization, we want to talk about Arrhenius acids and bases. We have an acid that has hydrogen, a base that has hydroxide, hydroxide plus hydrogen will come together and you get water. So hydrogen, hydroxide, you can see two hydrogens, one oxygen, there we go, salt and water. Net ionic equation down here, this is going to come in a little more handy later on. The H plus and OH minus, those are really the, the business end, so to speak, of those acids and bases. So moving on out. Arrhenius was all right, but Brunsted and Lowry is where we'll spend most of our time. They said we've got all sorts of problems. What about here? Ammonia acts like a base in water. Hydrochloric acid acts like, well, an acid. But ammonia doesn't have any hydroxide. We get this salt, ammonium chloride, when they react together. So it's kind of like this neutralization thing. But we need a broader definition because this doesn't fit according to Arrhenius. So here's our definition. Acids donate protons, that's hydrogen ions, H positive, and bases accept protons from those acids. We have a couple more examples down here. Okay. Now, <coughs> this is a crazy concept right here because as we look at these equations, it turns out some of these reactions will go to completion. You can see this arrow going all the way to the right. Some of these equations are equilibrium. We talked about equilibrium last unit. It's back. It's back in a big way. We see two water molecules can actually swap a hydrogen ion. One acts like an acid, one acts like a base, and we wind up with this hydroxide and hydronium. This actually happens just a little bit in water all the time. Now one of the key things here is conjugate acid-base pairs. You can have one hydrogen ion difference. Uh, when something loses a hydrogen ion, it's acting as an acid, it becomes its conjugate base. That base can gain the hydrogen ion again, turns back into the acid. It's a conjugate acid-base pair. It can bounce back and forth, kind of like how this, this is reflected here. Okay, so water and hydroxide are a conjugate acid-base pair. Here's the acid. Here's the base after the acid has lost a hydrogen. Here's water. It can gain a hydrogen ion, so it's acting as a base now. This water acts as a base and becomes its conjugate acid, hydronium. All right. Another thing here is that the stronger an acid is, the weaker its conjugate base will be, and you'll be able to compare things that way. Uh, we'll put some feet on that in class. All right, so there's Brunsted Lowry and their definition. A little bit more, I talked about strong and weak and this equilibrium versus not equilibrium. 
key thing. You need to know these six strong acids. Strong acids and bases dissociate completely. Dissociate, of course, meaning they completely react. They completely lose that hydrogen ion. Chloride will not pick up another hydrogen ion and become HCl. Okay, HCl is a strong acid. This reaction does not go the other way. Same thing down here with our strong base. Completely breaks up, completely dissociates, does not go the other way. Weak ones are a little more interesting. Yeah, that means maybe more difficult. And we've got these equilibrium reactions. Goes this way, goes that way, runs both directions. The reactants can turn into products, products can turn into reactants. Don't try to memorize all the weak acids and bases. Know the strong ones, please. You gotta know them. Okay? All the other ones will be weak. Here are some common examples. One last piece here. Lewis, he says, eh, I think you're missing some things. What if you look at your reaction here? This is our net ionic equation, hydrogen and hydroxide ions. What if you look at it this way? And it looks like I'm missing a pair of electrons on this thing. A full Lewis dot structure of hydroxide would look that way. He says, well, what if you look at it instead of swapping a hydrogen ion, instead you look at it as sharing electrons. Hydroxide donating a pair of electrons to the hydrogen ion, and it forms water. Well, if you look at it that way, all sorts of things turn into acid-base reactions, like this crazy thing that forms a complex ion. I think you can see why we call it that. And with that, we're moving on, because that's enough said about Lewis. Most of, here we go, most of the time that we're going to spend here in acids and bases will be with Bronsted and Lowry, a little bit with Arrhenius when we talk about neutralization. That's your key word for Arrhenius. All right, so that is it. Uh, hopefully that gives you enough that we'll be able to put some more feet on that, some teeth on them, I don't know, maybe some other body parts too when we get to class tomorrow.